Hooray, hey, we're back. Hey, look, leaderboards. Hey, look. Night falls on this dark and gloomy day of surviving the first night. Is that like, is that a law now? That if you're gonna make a Minecraft Let's Play, it needs to be called surviving the first night? I mean, why can't it be called like, hey, man, straight kicking it old school first night, word, dog. No, no, that that will not. I am breaking the chain. I don't care if the great chain rattles. I don't care what Andrew Ryan said. Andrew Ryan got brained by his own golf club. Thank you. By a. What was that? Oh no! The spoilers. You won't kill me this time. I can't be killed. Look at that. It's almost the weirdest thing I've seen. I once saw. Oh, wait. I don't know. It was once raining on one side of my house, but it wasn't raining on the other side. That was pretty weird. It was pretty cool, too. So, hey, look at what we'll do here. But yeah, I am breaking the great chain. Great chain rattles. Hey, here I am. But yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, well. Looks like I just spoiled Bioshock for you. I'm sorry. That is, in fact, a very good game. I'm sorry I spoiled it for you. If you're gonna play Bioshock, play play one. Play the first one. It's really good. I mean, I heard this said to me before. Like, when you make a game as good as Bioshock, where do you go from there? Where do you go from great? You go to excellent, probably. You know, I'll fix that when the whole house is constructed. Oh, I will. Remember how I said I fix that later. Oh, I'm not gonna. But yeah, Bioshock is a wicked good game. But two just seem like, hey, you know, you, it's a good game, but definitely not better than one. I mean, the first one, it was wicked awesome. I remember playing through it like, okay, what am I supposed to be thinking here? Like, I didn't know what to be thinking. And I look. Oh, frick! Freaking skeletons! He's son. Oh no! Oh no! It doesn't pause the game actually. Yeah! Oh, you son! I learned much from my from my YouTube mentor. The circle strafe strategy is all it's not all powerful, but it's pretty good. All right, so it's gonna be a little hovel, if you will. Right now, just need something to rest my head in. I could just make like a two by two square, but whatever. Pretty tough to make something that isn't a square or a cube or something, but whatever. Whatever. You know what? No, no way. It will bring the resale value down considerably if I don't. Oh, you son Patch it up. Just close it, you son of a friggin' I don't care if you're non hostile! They're non hostile during the day. Clearly this is night. Well you know. But yeah, Bioshock, it's You know what? I don't have enough wood right now. Block it off. Bioshock! Oh! No, I don't have enough. Oh, no, wait, yes, I do. I thought I was out. Okay. Bioshock. Great game. And my crafting table's out there! That from you. Alright. That from you, son of an onion. If you haven't watched Mary with Children, you're missing a great show, I'll say that much. Oh, wait, I have enough now. If I could get that one. But yeah, Bioshock, I played it, didn't know, didn't really know what to think. Like, okay, so I killed Andrew Ryan, he's the ultimate evil, right? I I saved the world, right? No, I didn't. Because I do not feel like going out there. Right. Okay, there we go. You can just plop you right there. Oops. There we go, I got a bed. Alright. Oh yeah, baby. Look at how cool I am with my super fly straight illin 
dog, dippity dog do house. Look at that. Look at that hovel. The hovel made out of cobble. No, it's not. Yeah, burned to death. Are you bumping my grill? <laughs> oh, hey. Meet the troll in this game. How's it going, creeper? No, I don't, I don't like you. Explodes if you get too close. I I challenge you. <laughs> Dance on your grave. But yeah, Bioshock, it was... I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you. If you haven't played it, obviously, you missed out. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, basically, it's like... The main premise... Are you kidding me? Main premise of the game, it's basically like... If you're a history buff, think Cold War, if you will. Now, when I say Cold War, what do you think? You think American spies and Russian spies trying to get as much information about what the other is doing, if you will. Basically that. And what do the Russians have? They had the KGB. They had sleeper agents, which are people who don't know what has been done to them. And now think, oh hey, think Call of Duty Black Ops, if you will. Again, Cold War era-ish. Now, Alex Mason, the protagonist, the person you play as in Black Ops, he was a sleeper agent. Uh, again, spoiling, I don't really care, it's Call of Duty. Uh, I liked Call of Duty. I liked. Past tense. Doesn't mean I won't play it, whatever. He was, he got turned into a sleeper agent, and he's activated by some term or whatever, I don't know. Some word. He was activated somehow by the Russians. To do things that he was, for lack of a better term, programmed to do. You know. Like, say, assassinated president. Pretty sure Mason didn't. Maybe he did, I don't know. But yeah. So basically, the person you play as in Bioshock, Jack, I think? That his name was? Yeah. Uh, Tenenbaum and Dr. Suchon, I think they turned him into a sleeper agent. He crashed the plane, he hijacked the plane. Uh, oh wait, what did he even do? Why did they do that to him? What happened? Man, either I'm gonna have to go back and play that game again, or I'll have to go to the wiki. I don't, I don't really know anymore. But hey, let's go get this stuff. Basically, he was, uh, he was programmed to think. Oh, think or do stuff based on a, uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'll just say activation phrase. The phrase being, would you kindly. Now, the phrase, would you kindly, became synonymous with Bioshock. Would you kindly. Every time the antagonist or whatever who you find out later is hey not all he's cracked up to be uh, Atlas who turns out to be Frank Fontaine has been bas basically holding your theoretical leash and pulling you in the direction he wanted you to go to basically returning control over Rapture or turning control over to Rap of Rapture over to Frank Fontaine I'm walking around the house let's Let's purdy this place up, shall we? Alright, this block... This block is kind of necessary. So we'll place another block there to make it even more necessary. But hey, alright. Just hold that down. Alright. No, that works. That works. Except that block. And... Every time he said, would you kindly... Subconsciously, Jack... I think that's... The character you play as... I think that's his name. He's just like, Yes, master! Do what dog do best, and such. And he wouldn't know it. He'd just be like, Alright, I still have control. He didn't. At all. And Tenenbaum's like, Yo, dude! Yo, he's playing with your mind, homie. Yo, we gotta, we gotta get some chemicals up in here. Well, actually... Fontaine basically, you know, takes off his mask and shows shows his face, you know, instead of hiding in a 
Hiding in a corner like a coward. That is what Frank Fontaine was doing. As Atlas. He was hiding in a corner like a coward. But yeah. Then it's like, okay. It's a mad dash to get this parasite out of my brain, we'll say. I lost my axe. That sucks. But yeah, it was a pretty good game. Can't remember how I managed to spiral whatever I was talking about into, uh... To Bioshock, I really wish I remembered. I don't. I really don't. But it happened. I'll say that much. Man. A great game, mind you. It was a great game. If you have not played it, I highly suggest you do. It is really fun. Also, if you're an achievement buff and you haven't played that game, it, I'll say this much it's pretty easy achievements. They are pretty easy to get. It's basically just play the game. Definitely look up a guide. There's... I think there's... It's obviously an achievement to get all the audio diaries. I think there's three missable ones, so... Look up a guide, but other than that, you should be fine. It's pretty... Yeah, pretty simple. A pretty simple... 1,100. There was... Another achievement added. Darn it. For 100 gamer score, I'll go ahead and tell you it. For beating the game on hard or whatever without dying or using a bite of chamber. Pretty simple, even though it sounds tough. But yeah, great game nonetheless. If you value great games, definitely get it. Now, if you don't get it instantly, I would say, oh, this is gonna suck. There we go. If you uh, don't understand what's going on, either play through it again or look it up on the wiki. You learn a lot from a wiki, guys. I'd say that much. I have another story for you, Bioshock related. Wiki. Wiki. Cool, man. I really, really love this. Bioshock is pretty good at telling a story. Painting a picture. <laughs> Bioshock 2 definitely seems a bit weaker than the uh, first Bioshock. I'll say that much. I mean, I didn't enjoy it. Mostly because I feel like, obviously, you probably didn't expect to be going underwater. I mean, okay, yeah, change of pace, you know, you're not on land. Pigs, pigs are always good, let's go kill them for their deliciousness. Oh, they're splitting up, they're using strategies now. Maybe they just had a big fight, who knows? Yeah, they won't live to tell the tale. Oh, thank you, fatty. But yeah. Probably because, you know, you're underwater in the first game, and then in the second game, well, underwater in the first game, it's like, okay, that's wicked cool, man. That's something new, and then in the second game, it's like, okay, you were underwater in the first game. It's not the same as every other game, but still, it's the same as the first one. Still like the game, though. But for me, it was... Do I have any more? I think I do. Um, no I don't. Hey, he's back online. He's also playing Minecraft. I am starting a revolution. Minecraft playing. I am not. This is just a fun game to play. But yes. Just... Check the old time. I'll stop it here because it's daytime. No. Yeah. And then I'll tell you another story real quick. Okay, story time. 